it's time to go to war. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be exploring everything you should know about Medal of Honor Warfighter. This first-person shooter is the 14th overall installment in the series, and the highly anticipated sequel to 2010's reboot and modern take of the iconic war franchise. Once again developed by Danger Close Studios, this sequel ramps up the action and the graphics by taking advantage of Battlefield 3's spectacular Frostbite 2 game engine. As a direct sequel, Warfighter continues three years after the previous story left off focusing on the story of U.S. Tier 1 operator Preacher, a soldier who returned home to find his family torn apart by his absence. Before he can patch up his life, a powerful and hard-to-detect real-world explosive called PETN begins crossing the American border. Redeployed with his teammates, Preacher is charged with taking the fight to the enemy and finding the explosive's source. A unique entry in the war genre, Danger Close has decided to add a new focus on military families and the consequences beyond a soldier's personal sacrifice. They have also included Tier 1 operators from other countries around the world, which is a first for the series. However, the only other playable character in the main campaign is a US Marine turned Navy SEAL, codenamed Stump. Like its predecessor, Warfighter has been written by actual US Tier 1 operators and is based on actual combat events and real-world hotspots. No longer set in Afghanistan, the sequel further connects the dots between real-life war zones. Players will rescue hostages and fight through a flooded city in the Philippines, as well as assault a pirate town on the Somali coast. While many of the gameplay elements found in the previous game have been carried over, among its new and touted features is the dynamic door breach system, which allows you to pick your method of entry for a high-risk room. Also, thanks to the previously mentioned Frostbite 2 engine, many objects and environments are now destroyable. The biggest change Warfighter brings to the table is in its multiplayer deathmatch offering. While DICE was responsible for the previous multiplayer experience, Danger Close has taken over and added several new options, including two-man fire teams. This unique mode has players get automatically grouped with another player on the same side. This has been done to replicate the camaraderie that soldiers develop in the field and emphasizes team tactics and strategy. During these modes, your player is constantly visible as a silhouette, even when obstructed by a wall or cover. Other multiplayer modes include such mainstays as Team Deathmatch, Sector Control, as well as the newly introduced Real Ops, which removes such things as rebounding health and the heads-up display. The multiplayer offerings allow players to pick from multinational Tier 1 teams to take on the role of the world's best warriors. These include soldiers from 12 different Tier 1 units from 10 different countries. These units include the British Special Air Service, Canadian Joint Task Force 2, and German KSK. Each country has its own perks, secondary weapons, and grenade type. Warfighter's multiplayer also makes use of the same battle log system that has been implemented for Battlefield 3, and includes such ramped up support actions as calling in helicopters and unmanned aircrafts. A gritty and realistic modern warfare game, Medal of Honor Warfighter improves upon everything you liked about the original, and is available for Xbox 360, PS3, Wii U, and Windows PC. For more great video game previews, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.